Hi everyone, my name is Wilfred, founder of Vans Etikoa B2 Bar Chocolate Factory. Today I'm going to show you how we make chocolate from cacao bean. This is a cacao tree and this is where chocolate comes from. Now we source all our cacao beans from around Asia, including Malaysia, Vietnam, Thailand, India and Philippines. Now in Vans Etikoa, we promote direct trade. Basically, all our main ingredients, the cacao beans, are purchased directly from the farmers. Uh, this is to ensure that the farmers get all the profits. On top of that, we also focus on sustainability in the sense that we pay the farmers much higher price for the right quality of the cacao beans. If you are not paying them the right price, they will give up cacao farming and we will not have cacao in the future. In Ben Santigoa, we promote traceability as well. All our chocolates are made from single estate origin. Traceability is important because in today's world, we need to know where the ingredients are coming from. In terms of safety, in terms of origin, and in terms of the unique flavors that it brings out. Come, let me show you how chocolate is being made. process is sorting. Here we are separating the good beans from the bad beans. Also removing foreign materials at the same time. In bean to bar, we are looking at fine flavours. So using good beans are crucial. So in roasting, it's a chemical reaction. So when we roast the bean at a high temperature, it actually creates a chemical reaction that develops the chocolate flavour. Depending on the different kinds of flavours you want to bring out from the beans, you roast them at different temperature. After roasting, we will crack and we know the beans. In this process, we are basically separating the cacao husk, which is the shell, from the cacao nibs. And we use the nibs for the next stage of chocolate making. In fact, in most uh, chocolate factory, the husks are something that they will dispose as landfills. Uh, but in Ben's Atikoa, we actually use the husk to make cacao tea. Okay, after cracking and winnowing, we will take the nibs and we will mix in raw cane sugar and cocoa butter according to the recipes that we want then we refine them now refining is basically to reduce a particular size to the size that we want close to 20 microns a fine chocolate base will melt very fast in your mouth at the same time it will release flavor faster after refining the next step will be conching now conching is the third stage of flavor development it's an agitation mixing and grinding process it takes time in Ben Satikoa we conch the chocolate for three days consecutive non-stop to achieve a very nice texture as well as flavor. Now tempering is a process where we put the chocolate through some temperature cycles to create stable crystals in order to stabilize the chocolate during molding. So after tempering, the chocolate is ready to mold. Here we will put them into a mini molding line which automatically deposits the chocolate onto the molds and depending on the shape and sizes, we use different uh, molds. Now. Most of the time, we mold some buttons. After depositing the chocolate onto the mold, the mold goes through a little bit of vibration to create the final shape. Then we solidify them by putting them through a cooling tunnel before finally we demold them. Of course, we make bars as well. Having different bars, from different origin with the same recipe actually exhibit different flavors. We want consumer to understand chocolate is just not bitter, sweet or milky. It has a lot of flavor profiles like fruity, earthy, nutty. All these are not seen in commercial bars. In Ben Satikoa Bay to Bar, we actually make our bars to allow consumers to taste such unique profiles. If you'd like to visit us, we do offer free factory tour. We 